Do I really want to look in her place? Oh no. There is something with her. <laughs> Greetings everybody, welcome to my channel, Howling Out for the Host Alpha Siri. I'm back at it again with some Sally Face. We just finished exploring around trying to find Megan. Uh, upgraded the gear boy and just searching around to see where their next ghost encounter will be and see if it ties into what happened to Larry's dad. So I hope you enjoy it. Leave this video a thumbs up. Let's me know that you enjoy it and subscribe to join the wolf pack. Always happy to have new wolves. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, alright, let's see. Gizmo is my cat. Okay, so we just searched the whole place. I think we need to go see Larry. So, Larry's in the basement. It's such an intriguing story. Hey, Chug, I think his name was. Alright, Larry. Larry, there we go. Hey, dude. Alright, let's go to his treehouse. Let's see if uh, the uh, ghosty will talk with us there. I'm thinking so. <clears throat> hmm. This animation takes so long to go. Alright, let's see. What is it? Wait, shift? Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, and Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? Breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I. Sorry. I have. Been... I have. I don't have much time. It. Remember. It. I can't remember the red ball. I don't know. I, the beginning of that, I can read, but I don't want to say the other parts. What do you mean? What are you? about a red ball. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts and then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Yeah. I would agree. Alright. Okay. We might need to tell Larry that, you know, he's got a, a floating head phantom in his tree house. But... I don't know. Maybe that was his dad. I don't know. I wouldn't have any clue. Hey, Larry. No, I can't tell him? Really? Okay. Hmm. Was there ghosties? Let me see. Let me check. Oh! Demonic presence? What the? Oh, I'm looking. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking through the whole house now. Oh, alright. Let's go in her room. Nothing? Alright. Leave anything here. Nope, clear. Can I talk to him about the uh, thing I saw? No, okay. Well, he. Oh, I'm definitely checking in here. Let 
this. Let's check the first one. Hmm. I am not leaving any ghosts unturned. I can't go outside? Nice, okay. Interesting. No one lives here. Mr. Addison isn't going to say anything. Um, goodbye. Can I go in here? Do I really want to look in her place? Oh no. There is something with her. <clears throat> okay. Oh my. What a horrible device you have. It's, uh, uh, well, sort of hard to explain. You really should, shouldn't be tampering things that you don't understand. Well, I should probably check in with Todd again and see if he found anything. Okay, bye! Yeah, I was in two. Uh, Todd, I... There's a lot of neighbors that, um... Are... Have ghosties. Hi. It's strange, but... I can't find any reports of the past murderers. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But... Uh, Look at this photo of him in, in the public records. Kate does not look like that. Jeez. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the other officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police records. Interesting. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I can find, but I did find one thing interesting, or interesting. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age seven, lives in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. That's the ghost girl that I would try to get Larry to talk with. Looks like it may be our little friend from upstairs. She might be the the daughter of Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's what I here's where it gets weird again. There's an update on the report one day after the original field filed, stating that the girl was found dead in the Wing to Go Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says that they've been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. Oh, That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've been... I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. I've never seen... She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. And it's something that she had connections with when she was alive. Now I just have to remember where it was when I saw it. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Uh, lost and found, right? That's what I'm guessing. Let's go. But no, 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 no. To the basement. Bye bye. Lost and found. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Oh, cool. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. 
I actually gave him Todd's voice. I don't know why I did that. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Larry is a flipping out right now. Hi, Sally Face. Holy frick, Knuckles. That's not a nice word to say. That's not a nice word, Larry. Haha, <laughs> you'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Um, let's get straight to the point. Oh, um, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Mm, just that he was very nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my mom... Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. So, um, where have you been? What do you mean? I've been here this whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, it's where we all live. Just like this side, but a little different. Okay. I miss my mommy. She didn't talk. And she doesn't talk to anyone. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he doesn't. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into anger. I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing on Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Oh, really now? Wait, Tim Johnson? Yeah, did you know him? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. Hehe. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson is, and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes! Where'd you find that? I was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from all the evil in the world. Aww. Did you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Oh, no. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Wait. I... Oh, we better go. She didn't sound like Daddy was very uh, fond. Shit. Yeah. I never understood... Yeah, I never seemed to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get to that bathroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind getting it? Going to get it for me? I've asked him like three times now, and he's always had some excuse. Maybe you have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Oh, here I am doing the dirty work again. Oh, which way is it? Which way is it? Leave. All right, let's do this. Hmm. Dave's the one with no pants, right? I think. Yeah. Sup, birder? Uh, can I borrow that crowbar? I love to lend it to you, but the only thing I hold myself my shelf up now. See those kids next door? In 301, they're nice kids. And all they and all but they there's real loud party sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If Jizz would talk to them for me. And get them a little bit quieter, then I let you borrow this the crowbar. 
My brain is out of melt. <laughs> okay, I can talk to him. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't got any clothes. You see? I just I just hate to be the old body pooper, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See ya. Hey, guys. Can you do me a favor and like keep it down for five minutes until I get this freaking crowbar? Hi. Hi, Sierra. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm complimenta- I'm complimentating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look it over your list? Sure. Uh, movie night. Mm, karaoke. Debate? No. No. No debate. Karaoke probably be loud. Chess tournaments? Quiet. Video games? Loud. Loud. How's this? Yeah, we do D&D &D on Thursdays. It's sort of thing we want something different. Okay. Um, chess tournament. It's been a while since I've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Great. Hi, bro. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I take a look? Yeah, go over it, little dude. How's this? We did this for our last part. We need something different this time. All right. How's this? Yeah, I did this one. This was my original pick too. Cool. Anything else? Oh, hi. Hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally. I'm trying to choose my game for the party tonight. I've been looking. I got this little book of games, but I don't know. I'll take a look. Be my guest. Uh, next. Telephone. How about charade? No, charades. What about this game? That was my first choice as well. Maybe I should just stick with my gut on this one. Sweet. Alright. Anything in here? Alright. Your bathroom is clean. Bye-bye. Alright, let's get to David again. Is that Barada? What? The Barada crowbar? Uh, come on. I did! Okay, what else do I need to... Is there someone else I need to talk to? Can't go that way. About this game. Mm, you know, that reminds me of Braid School. Okay, maybe I didn't choose the right one. What about this one? What about now? Hey, can I borrow that crowbar? I worked it out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Well, thanks for all your help. Sarah will be happy, too. Last time, our wedding picture about blowed up the pieces. I'm glad I could help. Let me grab a crowbar for use. One sec. I don't know why an accent came out. I'm trying to figure out who's talking. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Sweet. Thanks, you too. Let's do it. Let's go back to Larry. We are on a mission. Alright. Hi, Chug. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta see the ghosties. Hmm. Got the crowbar. Awesome. Go ahead without me. I'll be up in a minute. I have to make the stop on the way. 
Okay, bye bye, I guess. He's always sending me off by myself. It's a little fishy. I mean, I guess he's my best friend, but... You know, seeing what we're dealing with, I would definitely go with somebody. Especially my friends. I would not have them go alone. At all. Alright, the boarded up room... Was... In this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to pull these boards off of this crowbar. Nice. Oh, look. Anything? Here we go again. Oh my gosh. What? I don't know what to say. Stacy? Are you okay? Her throat's. Oh my gosh. I'm going in the hole. Look at the hole. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Let's enter this creepy hole. Alright. Oh, man. That's a noose. Alright, guys. <clears throat> before I start this conversation for those who are kind of uneasy with you know suicide stuff because I'm pretty sure this is the direction this thing's about to go just look away I'll I'll let y'all know by the sound of my voice this conversation's over just fair warning so here we go H hello Alright, I guess we don't see it. I guess we're playing a game. Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled in deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the Book of the Forgotten Truths. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you moving like that? Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh my goodness, what am I, am I actually playing a game or is this like some sort of like mini game that I play in the story? Oh, take the book. I have retrieved the book of the forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as a testament of your place amongst our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are devourers of God. Dang! How many do we just do chapters? And the mysterious old woman gazed again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door the key unlocks, we will share the secrets with the universe with you. Oh, I'm a different dude now. I enter. Now since there are different levels, oh gosh. 
I might play one more after this, just so I don't fall short. Story. Just so the story can continue. Please stop walking so fast, sir. Let's go. Who is this man? Okay, let me enter. I actually wonder if this is part of the actual story. Or if it's like a little mini game. Y'all let me know in the comments. Because if I'm just wasting time playing this game, I'd rather know now than having to go through all the chapters. Right now, I don't know how it connects. But I'm hoping we're going to find out. We gotta go up. Side. Dang it. Up. Side. Door. Sweet. Alright, one more. And then we can do the rest of the story. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. No, poor man. No? Okay. We're entering- Oh, hey! Sorry, members only. Now, like someone is crying. I better go check and make sure they're okay. Oh no. All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. Alright, this is like follow the noise. Hey, I found it! Hello, miss, are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montea. Montega? Montega? Oh. I didn't mean to intrude on you. I just I've heard crying and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. That was very kind. That's kind of you. I take you're not one of the men in the church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what's going on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm the beginning to fear or I'm beginning to fear for mine. And my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them, but I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year. Big factory of fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's an awful kind of you, Mr. Mung... Mungown? Mung... Montagu? I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Greg. Greg's the dude that died that was crying in, in the bathroom. Could this be Megan's mom? Interesting. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. That is Stacy. Okay. I'm Stacy Holmes. 
I couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to, help, to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Alright. I see this This game's like unlocking the backstory of them. But again, that's all I'm going to do for now. So, let's go on with the story. Alright, this is the part where I'm going to go ahead and say, it's already blurred out just for y'all for temporarily, that if you're not okay with suicide, Look away. Luke, can you hear me? Luke! My heart has freaking dropped out of my skin. Holy crap. Alright guys, the, the uh, little uh, suicide warning's over. Everything's all good. We've passed the scene. Basically, a demon came out, so whatever. It's all that's missed. What the hell has just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy any evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red eyed creep has been here for decades that was just before I was even born I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all <clears throat> yeah who knew Addison apartments of such dark past I thought living here with Charlie was freaking was freaky dang this shit ain't nuts dude well I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to work, take care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great now. I was thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this means that my dad, he, he just... Oh, Larry. No. Something happened to your dad. I promise. He didn't just leave. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Sal. That's all for today. The guards are giving me the look. Why am I in jail? Like, why am I being interrogated? I don't understand so far. Wait, that was only a part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially since it's been our last session with the trial in just a few days. I swear on my life. I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, all kinds of magical video game systems. Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about, from my perspective, the evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know, it's, I know how it sounds, but I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find the proof you need. Dang, I'm t I'm big. I I there's been a couple years since then. Wow. Okay. Who? What a freaking psycho, huh? Is he gonna go to the treehouse? Go to the tree house. Do it. Oh, we going. Let's see. I hope, I hope he gets evidence. Sal needs to get out of jail. Oh yeah, that's definitely been a couple years since what we're playing right now. Are we him? Oh, we him. All right, let's do it. Dun 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 This takes so long to get to this freaking tree house. Alright. Let's 
floor. If if you old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Or see tools and various junk. They're filled with clothes, books, cassette takes, nothing important. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents, nothing to be strange though. Huh. There's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole story has seemed off. No, Larry! What happened, Larry? Why are you dead? What? Why? How? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting him to be dead. What happened to all these people? Surely I did not kill Larry. <laughs> Dr. Enon? What? Don't forget, man. I need your help. You have to set... You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. You gotta ha get Sal out. <clears throat> this... You, you can't be. Calm down, dude. We're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Did he just die? Did we just kill the doctor? Shit. <laughs> oh no. Don't be dead. Please don't be dead. We done killed the doctor, the only person who had a bit of evidence. My gosh. This story. This story, man. Is this real? Am I dreaming? <clears throat> White room, Edna Drift. Way out, I thought not. I thought I could try to make it out, but I guess not. Oh, there's that face again. Oh, there's a place to, for keeps not must you to love. I have no idea what she, He's saying, trying to say something. The only one who believed you is dead now. Oh, okay. What should I do? Runs? Huh? N run? Runs? Run? Oh my gosh! Oh, I should have pulled lever. Pull. Pull. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to equalize them? Okay, okay, okay. There used to be a door here. I don't know what the. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I have nothing to hide. Can I ask, can you speak to your con- Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with your story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying the original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. You, can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly 
killed your mother? How do you explain no witness, no evidence, no any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they're going to add the, Miss, the Sanderson murder on your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charles Mansfield? I have nothing to say to him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we're getting onto major details from you, let me ask you our highest poll question. Poll question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because of you're afraid of bologna? What? I'm not afraid of a lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Mm. Alright. Yo, the bologna incident. Chapter 3. Next video. Sanity Falls. Oh my gosh, man. Alright, everyone. That'll be the end of this episode. That was crazy. I don't know what to think right now. There's a demon that is keeping everyone that's passed on in the apartments. We're trying to figure out the mystery behind everyone, everyone's killer and such. Larry's supposedly dead in the present. I'm being convicted of all the murders going on in the Addison apartments, including my mother. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen, but all I know is I need to continue this game. So stick around for the next video. Leave this video a thumbs up if you agree with me and wanting to continue. Subscribe to the wolf pack. Always happy to have new wolves. And without further ado, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.